My name is Michael Hurwitz. I live in Philadelphia and I'm a furniture maker. Before furniture, I was just generally interested in making things um, for as long as I can remember. Um, and then I quickly became kind of interested in wood. In 1972, I saw when I was probably my last year of high school, I saw an exhibition called Wooden Works um, at the Smithsonian and that, there were five makers at the time. Um, I mean that, that show highlighted the work of five makers, which were Nakashima, Escherich, Castle, Art Carpenter, and Sam Maloof. And that's, that's when I knew I wanted to be a furniture maker, when I saw that show. That just made me weak in the knees. I like the parameters of furniture as opposed to, say, wooden sculpture. I like, I like that you use it. I like that it's passed down from generation to generation. I like that it in some way enriches people's sort of daily lives. I guess the, the pieces that stand out in my mind um, are either maybe the first of a, what became a series or ones that I feel were just really, really well resolved or those that were kind of a difficult birth, like they were um, they were just really hard to make and took a really long time. They're sort of like children, like they, you know, there are no favorites. But uh, I like some that sort of take you on a different, on a different route than you thought you were going. Like they sort of take over midway, and um, that's thrilling. It's like a journey. You think you know where you're going, and there's surprises on the way. I also like sometimes just the sort of the rote. Um, act of working. This is sharpening a tool <laughs> or sanding. I like that some of it is so ancient by nature. The technology of rubbing a piece of steel on a rock to make it sharp. I love that that has become like an aesthetic experience. If I can just enjoy that process of making and hearing the wood cut from a sharp tool, that's rewarding. The new studio space is um, its a real upgrade for me in terms of space and natural light to be up there. I try to keep an open mind. It's the only advice I give my daughter. Keep an open mind. The rest will take care of itself. I want each piece to be the best that it can be. I used to think sort of consciously that this is going to be my last piece. So I just try to make it the best piece that I can.